Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. If you need to generate a list of random dates in Excel, you might think of putting three random numbers into the date function, which symbols a date when you provide a year, month, and day. The problem is that could give you ridiculous results, like February 30th. A better solution is random numbers, but with date serial numbers. So let's take a look and see how it works. So let's say I want a bunch of random dates between January 1st, 2023 and December 31st, 2026. Now, if I were going to use the date function, like I mentioned a moment ago, the syntax is equals date, and then I plug in a year, month, and day. And this is why it really isn't going to work here, because those three numbers could be pretty much anything. So we aren't going to use that. What's going to be better is if I use ran between, and the syntax is simply equals ran between, what's the lower bound, what's the upper bound. The ran between function always generates integers, so we don't have to worry about decimals. Excel assigns a serial number to every date, and those are the serial numbers I want to use in the ran between function. Well, how do I know what they are for these two dates? What I'm going to do is I'm going to click the first one, and then in Windows, I will press Control-1, or on the Mac, I'll press Command-1, and that brings me into the Format Cells dialog. And in the category, I'm going to click General, and there I can see what is the serial number for the first date. I don't need to do anything here. I'm just going to cancel out. I'm going to do the same thing for the upper bound for the second date. Again, I will go into the Format Cells dialog box, go to the General category, I see what that serial number is. Again, I'm going to cancel out. Now I'm going to go and use the ran between function. So I'm just going to click right over there, equals rand b, and that just kind of fills in the rest of that. So I'm going to put in the first number, comma, and now the second number, and that's it. I enter it, and <laughs> well, great, it gives me another serial number. Well, what am I going to do with that? Well, I need to turn that into a date. So I'm going to go back into that same format cells dialog box, and then I'm going to go to the date section and choose a date format that I want. I'll just choose this one here, click OK. Great, now I can get a whole bunch of them. So I'm just going to go and autofill down the column like that, and I could autofill as many as I want. So I have a whole bunch of these dates, and that's terrific. But what if I want to sort these? I probably want to sort these like from, you know, the oldest to the newest. Problem is, I can't sort it right now, because every time I do a sort, Excel is going to regenerate these random numbers, and the thing just can't possibly sort. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy to the clipboard, and then on the Home tab of the ribbon, I'm going to hit that down arrow on the Paste button, and then I'm going to choose paste values. I'll just escape out of the marching ants. Now, I can leave them selected or not, doesn't matter. But again, on the home tab of the ribbon, I'm going to go right over there and sort oldest to newest. And boom, now I've got the oldest date all the way to the farthest date. These are all legitimate dates, and they are actual dates. They are not formulas, so these won't change as we do other various things with them. With this technique, you can generate as many correct random dates as you need. So be sure to check out my course, Excel 365 for Busy People. Until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.